Here's another product uh, made by Kodak. It's the Instamatic M67, a movie projector. Pretty common. Remember seeing uh, units like this in, in high school and elementary school, and uh, I think uh, people still use them today. Uh, let's have a look inside. Basically, not a whole lot to see uh, when you when you think of it. But uh, you see these spools. Spools go on here, and it runs through this unit here and down and through. And the light is here, of course. To, you know, projects to a screen. The adjustments. Uh, here's your main control here. This is the on on off switch. Just turns on the motor, and that turns on the light. And uh, right here is you, you have the uh, stop share motor from the motors in here, of course. You know, everything that's being worked on here. So in the center position here, the switch here is uh, still, so your picture stops. And that's forward, basically. Pretty easy to operate and uh, also reverse. And you can, uh, I guess you can speed up or slow down your frames here. There's an odd kind of a switch here that kind of uh, changes the size of the screen. I guess it's for bigger film or smaller film. Not sure. I've never operated one of these before. But I've seen teachers struggle with these from time to time, but for the most part they worked pretty well. Um, so anyway, that's the Insomatic M67. Um, and uh, looks to be in the in working order. It's a little, little adjustment on the front here. You can raise or lower the legs here. Uh, the height, I should say, for your screen. Of course you need a darkened room and a, and a white wall or a projector screen of sorts. So, uh, pretty neat. Also, want to show you uh, something that you could probably use in conjunction with this. Just one moment. Of course, when you're, uh, you know, doing these projector videos and stuff like that, and movies, whatever, from time to time you have to uh, repair a video. Uh, or you know, edit a video, I suppose. And you just uh, basically you cut the tape, uh, cut your video to where you don't want it, and, and away you go. So this here, you just uh, put your film in through here, the film molding, as you can see. This is the RS three thousand, Raynox Industry Company Limited, made in Japan. On off switch here, the light. Of course, you uh, you put your spool on here, and uh, on the back, of course, the back side, and you run it through the unit and come back here onto this side. And you manually turn and you watch the screen to exactly where you want it to be. And uh, then this mechanism here, I've never used this before now, so you know, I can't say I'm uh, gone pro, but the uh, uh, button here you can do something some kind of focus or whatever. Yeah, it's focus on the screen. Wideness of the screen. And uh, you can do your splicing. As a unit here, I think, something probably missing here, not sure. It's kind of like a clamp of some sorts. But uh, anyway, that's uh, just wanted to run over some more stuff. Uh, of course, the uh, the projector is a Kodak, and, but this here is not Kodak, it's a uh, uh, Raynox. Uh, some sort of splicer or editor, I guess, a uh, video editor, movie editor, I should say. Not using the proper technology. Anyway, the uh, the arms fold in. And they're not using it. Typically me. Typically me. There we go. Yeah, fold into the sides, so it makes it uh, makes it more uh, portable. And here is the. back on the plate here that gives all the information to, as I said, the Raynox RS3000 editor. There you go. Anyway guys, just a short video on some more uh, movie equipment. Thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you soon.